Well, hello, this is Linda Harris, and it's been uh, quite a while since I've done any any videos on the hoof. Um, the name of this channel, of course, is the Happy Hoof Channel, and uh, the trim that uh, I've been developing over the last several years is called the ACT trim, A-C-T, and that stands for the Anatomically Correct Trim. Um, now... Albert Einstein, considered one of the smartest men who ever lived, basically, he said that uh, the only thing that got in the way of his learning was his education. Now, I can really understand what that means, okay? Because you go to experts, you pay them, and you expect to get the truth from them. You expect that they know what they're talking about. <clears throat> but what we find all throughout history is that that's not always the case. In fact, a lot of times, um, once you're taught something and you think you know it, you can't learn any more about it. You know, when somebody comes to you and they say, well, I have the truth, listen to this, and they tell you and they convince you of something because really when you go to them you don't know anything to begin with so whatever they tell you you pretty much accept at face value because of the position that they are in so they say I have the truth here it is they tell you you accept it if it's not the truth and you think it's the truth then you cannot learn now I would have been better off when I started with horses feet if I'd have just found me a dead horse somewhere that was pretty fresh dead, cut off its foot, took off its hoof, hoof capsule, and then in my own head tried to figure it all out, then I was in learning from most of the other people that I learned from. So basically, what, what I've done is I have had to to unlearn a whole bunch just in order to be able to learn what's on the inside of this foot, the anatomy of the inner foot, the inner foot. Now, I don't have a fresh uh, inner foot with the capsule off. I'll, I'll show you some pictures of them. But my theory is that this hoof capsule here, has to perfectly mimic the shape and form of that internal foot that's in the capsule. Um, <clears throat> this covering that you see here is not the horse's foot, this hoof capsule. The wall and the sole is not the horse's foot. It's what you have on the inside that is the horse's foot. It's like uh, your shoe is not your foot, right? Okay, but what's inside that shoe is your foot. And so when we are dealing with the foot of the horse, we're dealing with two separate objects that are yet connected and are supposed to work in unison. Now, because this hoof capsule grows all different lengths, depending on what gets worn or what gets cut, um, It'll, a lot of times it'll grow out of, uh, it'll distort, and it will not follow and mimic the shape and form of the internal foot. And so, um, in one respect, I would say my model is one kind of wild horse, and that would be the desert Mustang. And the reason for that is that that horse, he's born and he has constant movement over rough terrain for the rest of his life. And so for the most part, there's always exceptions to the rule, but for the most part, that the walls on that horse's foot never get long like this. Okay, more like they stay like this. You see? And so 
they perfectly fit this coffin bone and the rim of the coffin bone that's on the inside, as you see here. Now this is a back foot. Okay, this is a, this is a front foot. So that horse, he never, his walls rarely, if ever, get long like this because he is constantly moving, grazing. They're not running all the time, but they do, you know, run probably every day. But they are constantly moving, grazing because horses in the desert, there's very sparse grass, sparse grass in the desert. So for almost every bite of food, they have to move. They have to break over, move somewhere on this foot, on this foot here. So the wall never gets long and it always stays pretty much just like that. You see there? Well, when the wall gets long, all kinds of leverage forces and tearing forces go into work to stretch this hoof capsule out of place and out of the place from where it should be connected to that inner foot and follow um, every shape and form of that inner foot. Now, right here, I have, um, well, this is, this is something I made, but anyway, um, off a cadaver foot that I had just, 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 uh, dissected and it was only a couple days old. So you see, there's no shrinkage or anything like that. So this is what I'm saying is that this hoof capsule, let's see, let's put it up over here. Okay, this, in fact, um, it was the opposite foot of this one, I do believe. This is the other foot on the back of that horse. And this is a horse that I trimmed for almost a year. Okay, so this hoof capsule here should follow, in every respect, the shape, the shape of this inner foot. From here, from here to here, all the way around. See? Yeah. Now, when it doesn't, is when you have separation between the laminas in here and the hoof capsule gets all distorted. So, you know, my idea is pretty simple. Okay, and it wouldn't matter if I knew the names of any of the parts of this foot or not. If I found a horse that was dead, let's say I wanted to learn about my horse's feet. You know, let's say nobody knows anything about feet. So I'm the first person that wants to learn about feet. Okay, so I figure, well, I'll find me a dead horse, cut off its legs, and I'll remove this outer exterior to see what's on the inside. You know, I could give all this stuff my own names. I mean, this is how it all started originally. Somebody had to name it originally. Okay, so if I would have just started this journey by just studying this, I would be, I would have been much better off and a lot further along than I was by uh, listening to reading, studying, and accepting everybody else's conclusions about it as far as, you know, barefoot trimming, natural barefoot trimming, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Now, this is what the act trim is based on. Okay? You, you don't even have to know all the names of every part. You don't. It, it really, in the end, I mean, you should know it. And, uh, I advise people to get to know all the different parts and the names of them, okay? But technically, okay, my trim that I'm working on, on my horses, is just learning this inner foot and trying to figure out how to get this capsule to perfectly form fit this internal foot in all, in all the whole shape. Now, let me stand up here. Okay, now you can draw a square. Is not that correct? 
and you can draw a circle and you can draw a triangle and you can look at something and you can figure out the shape of it is not that correct okay well all you have to do is look at this internal foot all of its shape all of its form okay and then try and get that to translate into your eyeballs into what you're trying to produce on this capsule right here so this is what we're trying to do folks it's pretty simple really okay the problem is we don't understand and see the reality of this external foot here okay so that's what this channel is about and that's what my trim is about that I'm trying to develop and work on and and help others with that's it just real simple really